Hey, it's MK, and today we are celebrating Galaxy Girl Creations 2K subscriber hop. So basically, uh, <laughs> we're not celebrating the hop, we are celebrating with a hop. So I just quickly showed you the layout that I will be uh, lifting today. I will also put it up in the upper right hand corner of the layout once I get started. So today I've got a couple um, lake slash beachy things um, to be playing with. Now, the thing about all of these beachy layouts, I'm going to rant a little bit, uh, is the fact that I need layouts mostly for a lake and not the beach. Um, like we, we have shells from snails, but they definitely don't look like these sand dollars and <laughs> starfish. Um, I love these little uh, fish bones. Thank you, Sarah, for um, gifting those to me and sending them to me. I appreciate that. Um, but I don't, you know, we, we do have kind of a seaweed, but it, I don't know if you could call it a seaweed. Um, yeah, because it's not in the ocean. <laughs> so anyways, I have just noticed that a lot of the beachy uh, embellishments these days are geared more towards vacations. And it's like, okay, so that's not... You know, all people don't go to the beach just for a vacation. And I just, I would like to see something a little bit different that is beachy related. Like these uh, rub-ons right here. I love the beach elements of the first, what was it, four pages. But that fifth page with all the words, I'll pass. I'll probably never use that because it's more of like everybody spends all day every day on the beach. Well, every time I've gone to the beach, it's, you know overcast and windy. <laughs> I mean, we still make our way of it, but yeah. So anyways, um, I was trying to get these alphas to show up. They're by P13, and I'm not even sure if I'm going to use them yet because I don't even know what my title is going to be. But all I have is a little photo of um, one of what I call them my cranes, but it's one of the cranes that has decided to make our little lake their home. Um, which to us is kind of exciting because I, I, I associate pelicans. Did I say a crane? Oh my gosh. It's a pelican. I associate pelicans with the beach and to see it on our freshwater lake is pretty cool, uh, in my opinion. And we are going to actually get a pretty large stock of them, you know, like maybe seven or nine of them. Um, once they fill the the pond because the um, free fishing day is coming up really soon and they're going to fill our little lake with um, lots and lots and lots of trout and stuff like that. So we're going to get a huge flock of them soon. Um, anyways, I'm showing you guys all the mixed media that I'm going to be playing with with this layout. But first, I want to swatch my brand new watercolor set that I had received from Altenew. Now, the reason why I say received is because I signed up for their newsletter and every, I want to say week on their newsletter, they give out $15 um, to use in their store. And so I happened to have been one of those lucky recipients and their watercolors were on sale. So I think I paid $5 for this whole set um, because of that gift card. And it's not a very expensive set to begin with. So I was super excited. It's all metallic. And so when I swatch, I'm going to be swatching on black as well as on white. And I thought I would do it on, you know, on camera um, instead of just magically here it is. I don't normally swatch any of my colors. Um, I, I just, it's never been my thing and it's never something that I reference to except for maybe color matching. Like I'll take my, oh, <laughs> I'll, sh I'll tell you why I just did that in a minute. Um, I take my my Tim Holtz color swatching and I'm trying to come up with a color combination. That's pretty much the only time that I use my swatches, in all honesty. Um, but what I was showing you guys is that all of the metallics, metallic goodness is going inside my water. And so it's like a swirling vortex of shining shimmering stuff and I tried to take a picture of it too <laughs> to show you guys but it is absolutely gorgeous and you can kind of see it in the top all of that all of the shimmer just swirling around and it, it was just beautiful 
And so I was more excited about my dirty water <laughs> than the colors. But anyways, here are all of the colors that I have swatched out um, just to get a feel for what they look like on you know, black and also on white. Now, when I first painted that white, um, I didn't even think it showed up. And then here it is. It's beautiful. Um, so anyways, I am doing a nine by 12 layout today. Um, and like I said, it's just of a crane that um, he's the first one to arrive out on our lake this year. Um, this year being the year I'm working in, which I think is 2020. Um, to be honest, I, I don't think I'm I know I'm not in my current album because I haven't printed those photos yet. Um, I'm always a year behind, in all honesty, to um, to explain a little bit about how I scrapbook. Um, or I guess I could tell you what I'm using to glue my, my cheesecloth down. So with my cheesecloth, I am actually just using white paint because I want the white paint to kind of be... Um, like vibrant when I add my sprays and I'm actually going to paint with my sprays um, instead of try to spray them but yes I am very heavily putting on white paint so that way I also kind of get um, peaks and valleys and then what I'm doing on the edges is making sure that they dry peaked you know like like I'm dabbing them so that way I get the roughness so here is the first color this is Altenew, um ink spray in dusk and this is my most favorite um, of the blues ever I just love this tone it is not aqua it's not blue it's just an amazing blue I, I don't know how to describe it but it is beautiful so first thing I'm going to do is just spread the color I'm not even worried about um, highlighting or definition or anything at this point. I just want to spread the color and I'm not even worried about getting it all the way through the cheesecloth. Um, I don't care about the white spots. Uh, I don't, it, it doesn't bother me one bit. Now, when I scrap lift um, someone and uh, I always try to do it on my own first and then go back and watch the video of how they did it and see if, you know, did I do it the same? Did I not even close? What was it? So I'm going to have to say with this layout, I wasn't even close. Um, <laughs> poor Janet <laughs> and all of that work that she did to achieve her layout, which is absolutely gorgeous, by the way. And I still could not get the same effect that Janet did. Um, but now I can see why. Uh, I, I completely understand because her layout went through so many layers and so much texture. And then to find out that it is a three-dimensional wall art, which I did not know. Um, I, I honestly didn't... Um, I honestly didn't uh, read that post on her Instagram page where I lifted this sketch. Um, also, too, I, um, you know... It doesn't even show it in in the in the photo like I said as soon as I'm done with the mixed media I will definitely show you guys where uh, you know I'll put her layout up uh, for reference in the upper right hand corner so that way you guys can see all the gorgeousness plus it was at the very beginning of the video and it will be at the very end of this video as well um, I just fell in love with it and she does have access to the beach lucky duck um, where I'm just, I'm just a lake gal. I, I love my lakes. Um, so anyways, I took all three of the Altenew ink sprays. Um, I had dusk was first. So I went in, uh, you know, dark light and then, um, kind of a greeny, uh, after. So, uh, dusk was first ocean waves was the next color that I put on the lighter blue. And then the greeny blue was the sea glass. And I love that color as well. It, it definitely is true to its name um, from the sea glass that I have ever seen. All right, then I'm going through with my brand new watercolor set. I just love it. And I'm taking only the white and I'm putting it in. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm putting it in all the blank spots. And then basically before my sea glass had time to dry, I will dab it into 
different little spots to get that swirling vortex of glittery goodness. I don't even know if it's glitter, you guys. It's gorgeous. Um, and then I decided I wanted to see if um, the blue would make the greeny blue that it had, like a mint. I don't even know what color that was. Um, I wanted to see what that would do and nothing. Yeah. So I was pretty happy with the way that it looked. I love the shade of color. I know it's not as blue as Janet's, um, but I do love this shade because like I said, it's a lake life. It's not supposed to be that gorgeous ocean blue, right? It's, it's kind of a icky mucky green. <laughs> in all honesty. Uh, so then I picked out three rub-ons to use on um, around in my clusters. That is the intent of using um, these uh, little, I, I don't know, they're like map border uh, fragments, I guess is what you could say. But I really liked them and I really wanted to make them work with my layout. Now, Janet did not use anything of the sort on her layout like this, but I was super stoked to um, get my get the square effect. I really, really liked um, how these are looking and the fact that they rubbed on to this ink and paint and all that good stuff. Uber easy, you guys. I cannot believe how well all of these, um, you know, just, they just went on like they belonged there. So anyways, went through my little Brad collection. I am slowly whittling away that, um, that Brad set. It seems like I go for specific colors and eventually I'm going to end up with colors that, you know, like, what am I supposed to do with those type of deals? Uh, but I picked out specific colors and then I also opened up my little pack that says Enchanted and came with little crosses um, from the Not Just For Boys Kit Club. And then I have these uh, cattails that I made quite a while ago. Um, I also bought some of this netting. Um, I bought it off of Amazon, not realizing that it's wired. It actually has a wire going in and out and all of it. And I was like, mm, yeah, I don't know. But I really like after I pulled off the edges and have now open, uh, you know, like string of things hanging out on the sides. I really like that after I pulled off the two edges. So I was a lot happier um, and didn't care that it had wire after that. <laughs> <laughs> but my first thought when I got it and I ha and I saw the wire, I was like, oh no, that's not going to do what I wanted it to do. Because the thing about having a wire in your project, A, it becomes super bulky. Not that fabric isn't bulky, but it is. Um, and B, it also um, won't pull and shift like I want it to. But this one happens to pull and shift beautifully. I loved how it worked. So I was super stoked with the fact that um, even though my first in, in impression was yuck, I actually really liked it. So uh, super happy with um, this product now. So anyways, um, I'm taking my cattails and just like Janet, try and create a little corner going around um, my focal photo and then a small little cluster over on the right hand side. That's all I'm trying to do, just kind of mimic exactly what Janet's doing. Only I brought in a lot of greens because I clearly have a lot of cattails in my photo. And I really wanted to, I really wanted to um, express that this is the lake and not just a body of water, you know, a specific type of body of water. Also, I love the little fish bones. <laughs> just, I just do because that's, you know, that's what these pelicans eat. That's what they're, that's what they're searching for. And it just makes me giggle that I have the little fish bones on there. Um, it, you know, the pelicans eat the whole fish. Is that what they do? It, it's, I, I need to research that. I need to find that out. So anyways, I'm taking some of my seaweed pieces, I'm cutting them in half, um, gluing them, flipping them over so that way they go in two different directions. I'm just layering up all of my uh, seaweed is, is what I'm doing. And then yes, I am tucking in the sand dollars and the starfish just for extra added elements, um, honestly, because I didn't have, you know, snail shells and I didn't have... I don't know. Um, you know, we don't find anything else except for odd things around the lake that people leave. I don't have garbage in my, 
<laughs> yes, I do, but I don't have a type of garbage as embellishments just yet. All right, to get my cattails to lay down flat, I went ahead and I cut up some uber super skinny um, pieces from my foam tape and just put them behind and now they are all stuck down. Then I'm going to take my two, st my two Nouveau drops that I brought in. One is a stone drop that is gold rush and the other one is a glitter accent that's called Aztec gold and I took the stone drop and just did a huge glob at the bottom of my fence and then going up into my seaweed cluster so that way it looks like um, the sandy beach is behind and in front of my my uh, oh what's it called my fence um, because we do actually have a sandy beach at this particular uh, lake. So it's really cool that that really works for us. Um, and we have seaweed at, in the lake as well. So if you choose to swim it, um, don't get scared. Nothing's trying to pull at your leg. It's just seaweed, <laughs> um, I, which I don't know what, what seaweed is called at in the lake, you know, lake weed. Um, <laughs> so anyways, I went ahead and I took my, um, sorry, I squirreled. I took my stone drop, made huge globs at the bottom. Then I took a sequence pack that was actually gifted to me by Janet the very first time I met her. Yes, I have used it quite a few times, but it is like the tiniest little, little glitter pack or, or sequence pack that keeps on giving. I swear I can't use the whole thing. Um, and I've tried. <laughs> But it is, there is a ton of sequins and the best part I love about it is they're so microscopically tiny that um, they just work really well with everything and they go a long way and I think that's why it, it seems like it's a, a lot going on. Then I took my Aztec gold and I created like highs and lows. So I just dabbed it on here and there and you'll see that um, in the close-ups I hope when um when they're all said and done. All right, the last thing I'm going to do for this layout is add some, um, what is it called? Some brads from my Simple Stories little brad uh, kit that I had, and then um, these little crosses that came with the enchanting title, because like I said, I didn't really know exactly what I was going to do for a title. And um, I pulled out this beautiful wood veneer with these acrylic and wood stars uh, or crosses. And I was like, those are gorgeous, by the way. And yeah, why not use them? And and look, it's already a pre-made title. I didn't have to worry about the alphabets and what I was going to do. And that is it. This is the completed layout. I do have my other two photos that I plan on uh, flip-flapping. But now that I have to cover up some of the stuff, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. All right, so I spend a little bit time, a little bit more time showing you guys this layout because I wanted to share all that shimmer and sparkle with you guys. I love it. <laughs> I, I am so happy with my new watercolor set. I just have to share with the world what it is. Um, and, and how sparkly it really is. I love how the acrylic white paint um, kind of kind of resisted yet accepted my inks and things like that. So I love how they look like they're splashing up against, um, you know, the water splashing up against my, um, my cheesecloth. So anyways, that is the layout. I took tons of close-ups so you guys can get a, an idea and um, see all everything because there is a lot going on on this teeny tiny little half a page. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to check out everyone else that is helping Janet celebrate uh, her 2000 subscriber um, milestone. Also, she is doing a giveaway over on her channel. So go check that out. Everyone that is helping her celebrate is down below in the description box, all their links, their direct links. Um, so when you click on them, it should be right on the video. Uh, sometimes, sometimes, don't quote me on that. All right, thank you so much, and I'll check y'all later. Bye.